Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Haran Choi. I'm a recent graduate of Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health. And on this video, I'm going to share with you guys the most recent update released by ECFMG concerning the Step 2 CS Alternative Pathways. So without further ado, let's begin. So to give you guys a brief background, if you are an international medical graduate, you need to be ECFMG certified in order to apply for the match. And ECFMG stands for Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates. And to be certified, you basically need the Step 1 exam, Step 2 CK, and the Step 2 CS exam. However, the USMLA program has suspended the Step 2 CS exam until next year, June 2021, because of the coronavirus pandemic, because the Step 2 CS exam is interactive um, exam, which require personal interaction with um, each other. And so they suspended the exam until June 2021. And so because of this suspension, ECFMG has provided five alternative pathways for the IMGs to take if you don't have a Step 2 CS exam. So this was updated back in September 2, 2020. And recently, in October 12, 2020, they released the news stating that they have expanded the pathways. So on the first update, they provided five different pathways that people can take if you don't have the Step 2 CS exam score. And if you don't know about these pathways, make sure to check the link down below I provide so that you can be updated on your eligibility. And then for the expansion, which I am going to talk about on this video, the further expanded pathway 1, 2, and 4. Yeah, 4. So for pathway 1 expansion, they added this statement. So applicant who has held a license, registration to participate in post postgraduate medical education in any country at any time on or after January 1, 2015, is also eligible for pathway 1. So that's an addition to pathway 1. So for pathway 2, they added this statement. Students or graduates of medical schools in Malaysia will satisfy the requirements for this new option and the schools will be added to the pathway to as soon as possible. So if you are a graduate of medical school in, the, in Malaysia, make sure to check them out for their update. So for pathway four, they added six different countries, six more countries that are accredited by certain agencies. And so those countries are uh, Czech Republic, Dominican Republic, Hungary, Israel, Poland, and United Kingdom. And so if you are an IMG from any of those countries, uh, make sure to check if your med school is listed under the accrediting agencies. So that's the expanded pathway and that's the update that they gave this past October 12, 2020. So if you are applying for March 2021, make sure you are updated on whatever information they provide because things are rapidly changing and um, without being updated it's going to be difficult to know whether you are eligible for a certain pathway or not so yeah as for me i really hope that the step 2 cs exam will come back after june 2021 because i know that a lot of imgs are not eligible for any of these pathways and so hopefully step 2 cs will come back and hopefully the pandemic will subside and things will get better and we'll be able to take the step to CS exam again. So that's all my update for today. Hopefully this information is helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will catch you guys later. Bye!